Hello everyone, this is Laura with Intuitive Dreams and welcome to our daily topic. And this one has to do with facing fear and how to go about doing that in safe and constructive ways. Sometimes fear can hold us back and then we don't accomplish the dream that we want or the goals or um, have the financial um, riches that we would like. <laughs> so today is August 20th and walking through fear is our topic. Courage or fear is a choice. Being on a spiritual path and seeking to learn and becoming more awake every day doesn't mean that you are immune to fear. But whether to respond to this emotion with courage or dread is a choice that we all make. Many times in my life I have felt afraid, but I have also summoned the faith within to move forward anyway. Freedom comes from making brave choices. Deciding to be strong and walk through the fear is an exercise in courage. All that's necessary is that you draw on a positive force of good that is larger than the fear to regroup when this primal emotion shrinks your emotional IQ and intuition. And an example of that would be you're trying to um, leave an old job and then you're focusing on this new career or a new adventure or moving to another place and you're stuck in that fear and if you don't make any choices or take action, you're, you kind of sit in that energy for a long time. To deactivate fear, take a few deep breaths and calm yourself. Close your eyes and repeat this mantra. I am not my fear. I am larger. Then feel your soul expand and your strength returning. The situation might be intimidating, but you are more confident about conquering it and achieving your goal. What I like to do is, you know... I kind of focus on that fear as an illusion. And then I also kind of sit with the feelings until it leaves. Like I don't put anything with it. I don't sit there and focus on, oh my gosh, this is happening or that is happening. I just kind of sit in the feelings. You know, Eckhart Tolle has really good books on that. Um, Stillness Speaks and things where he talks about just sitting in the feelings, not giving fire to it by thinking about things, just kind of sitting in it, feeling it. And you'll notice that the feeling starts to dissipate and leave. Another thing that I like to do is call in my angels and say, you know what, I've been stressed out all day. I don't know what to do. Here's all my fears and anxiety, and I'm putting it in a bubble, and I'm sending it off to the universe to bless it. And often I notice that I start feeling a lot better after. It's something that they recommend for people to do a lot. There is an old Cher Cherokee teaching about two wolves that are always battling with you. One is mean-spirited, the other is benevolent and good. Which one will win? And I often think of it as we have an angel on our shoulder and the devil on the other. And which one are you going to listen to? Every day we have that option. Are we going to listen to our fear or are we going to listen to our strengths, our inner soul essence? Now, um, for setting the intention, though my fears may be strong, I will not feed them. Fear is a part of life that I will gain mastery over. I won't allow it to stop me from achieving my dreams. And then on that note, I have our card deck for the day, which this one I ordered. Uh, I was excited to get it. I saw that... Uh, Hey, house is having a sale. They always have sales. So if you're always interested, if you're interested in like getting different things, I love the collect Oracle decks. We have uh, the self-care, sacred self-care Oracle. So I just got this one today. So I don't know it that well, but it has a lot of great artwork. I think I might, I might do a deck review on it. So I'm just going to shuffle the cards and knock on them, place it over my heart. And now they said 
they told me don't even shuffle. Pull one from the bottom and one from the top. And I'm going to read you a little bit of the meaning of these two. So here's our first card is clear your energy field. This one, sometimes it's like um, when this comes, it may be about saging your home, clearing out negativity. Sometimes if we've been around people that complain a lot or argue, it, that energy kind of sticks around in the home. So you want to kind of clear it out. Maybe open the windows, clean the house, uh, move furniture. And this one also could be about taking an Epsom salt bath with lavender. That helps to kind of clear out your energy. I like to ask the angels to come in and put place a vacuum over my head and kind of vacuum out the fear, the energy, the negativity and all that and replace it with light. So I do that a lot. Sometimes crystals can be good at clearing too if you're wearing them. So I'm going to go to the meaning of that card now and tell you guys a little bit about the meaning. I'll put the card back up for you to look at. Clear your energy field. Mantra. My energy is clear, my mind is clear, and my heart is full of love. So sometimes it's not just about we need to clean our energy because we've been out around other people and that we carried that energy home with us. It's Sometimes it's mental stuff too to kind of clear. And the same way that we need to clean our homes, we need to clean our energy fields. Through energy clearing, we can remove blocks, leaks, and entities or spirits that have attached to us. The process also helps us free ourselves of any emotions or stories that others have implanted within us that are no longer serving us. So this could be, you know, relating back to our inner child or things with, uh, you know, how we've been put in certain roles in the family structure. You know what? I'm stepping outside of that role and I'm going to be true to who I am now. I'm not that role anymore. The other card we have is, I got this card in other readings today for people. Take a walk. And if you look at this, it shows a lady. She's out on the path and then there's um, mountains and a sky so for people that are sitting inside, I keep getting stuff about people need to get outside. So if you're one of those people where you're not, you're just kind of sitting inside watching TV or something, you need to get out and kind of stretch your legs, uh, get out of stagnant energy. And now I'm going to go to a little bit of the meaning of this card for you guys. So I'll just put that up there for you to gaze at. <laughs> Mantra. With each step forward, I release what no longer serves me. And also, they're telling me about stagnant energy, being in the home, and you're just sitting in it. So sometimes you need to get out, sit in nature, go in the grass, go by trees so they can kind of filter out that energy. They can filter it out and then you can feel refreshed. That's why a lot of times people go to forest preserves and they just kind of sit by trees or nature because it, it naturally filters out our negativity, uh, feelings that have built up in our energy. Experience a moving meditation and nourish your, nourish your body, mind, and spirit simultaneously by carving out time to go on a walk. Commit to making a week-long routine where you go on a walk each day, even if it's only for a short time. Journal about how this time makes you feel. I also tell people, give your worries away. You know, when you're walking, um, kind of say, I'm sending my worries up to the source and I am just enjoying what's here. I'm being grounded and I'm focusing on the moment. What, what do I see? What do I hear? What do I smell? What is around me right now? So just take in all of that. Lose yourself in your senses whenever you're out. That's a good way to kind of distract yourself too from worrying all day or fears or what's going to happen in the future. Uh, people are worrying so much right now about um, political stuff that it's like you guys need to go, get outside, take a break, um, take a load off. 
<laughs> get out there. All right, so I think that's all of our cards. And then uh, I'll see you guys next time. Take care.